We're in today with the legendary R9 295. This is a 2014 video card with 2816 shaders. It's got 4 gig of VRAM GTDR5 at 512 bits bus width, running at 1018 megahertz on the core clock and 1250 megahertz on the memory clock. We're gonna pair it up with this i7 9 gen with eight cores and eight threads. I'm gonna see how this uh, R9 it's working in a couple of games with uh, Crossfire. Let's jump in. All right, let's first start with uh, GTA 4. I wanna see how that game is running with maximum details because uh, I remember last time I was playing in SLI and Crossfire, this game was managing to put everything uh, on its knees. The moment I'm reaching the door, it starts lagging, egg spiking. Yes, ooh, yoi, yoi, no? Ooh, look at that, that's the spike. Oh, yes, any, any, ooh, phew. No glitches, yo, you can actually see that the MS is kind of good. Damn, this R9 can actually do the job on maximum details. I'm playing so many games with so many low details and uh, I, I actually forgot how, how the games look on uh, high details, seriously. It looks really fantastic overall. So averaging uh, around 60 FPS with this uh, video card in GTA 4, the MS is around uh, 1020 and starts to give me some uh, spikes here and there, but it's working really nice. You can actually see that uh, everything is good here. System wise, I got like 7.2 gig of system RAM use, around 40-50% load on the CPU, 60 degrees. I mean, the CPU is doing fantastic. The system RAM is not uh, being utilized too much because it's, come on, it's, it's uh, GTA 4, it doesn't need too much uh, system RAM. So I think uh, 8 gig is enough for GTA 4. On the GPU side, both of the cores are running at uh, 50, around 50, 40, 50%. And on the memory side, we got like 1.4 gig of uh, VRAM used. But we need to continue with GTA 5 and see how it's running with DirectX 11, 1080p, FXAA, no MSAA, but everything is on maximum details. Right, let's see how we're running in the garage. Oh yes, definitely still 100 FPS. Look at this, look at the numbers. Seriously, this is fantastic. How much we got on the CPU? Like 50% low, 60 degrees, that's actually good. 80 watts consumption on the CPU. So the CPU is doing a job because uh, the GPU is doing the job. So in this case, the CPU and the GPU are hand in hand. So does it uh, do the job? Yes, 3.3 gig of VRAM used. So on maximum details, it doesn't use the maximum VRAM. Temperature is, is decent maximum uh, core speed, maximum memory speed, 3.3 gig of VRAM use. Everything is well balanced with this video card in uh, GTA 5. Only thing that you have to do in this is to have fun, seriously. One game that I'm very surprised that is working with Crossfire is uh, PUBG. I'm gonna put everything on uh, maximum, ultra preset, enable uh, sharpening, DirectX 11, not 12. Let's keep DirectX 11 and see with 100% render scale. On maximum details how PUBG is working. The glitches that you see it's on the shadow so that's it. I wish I can uh, put it on a uh, different type of um, effects you know maybe it's go deeper and disable the shadows I think it will be even much better. The average performance on this uh, video card it's kind of fantastic with the game it's doing a fantastic work with 60 fps on nearly maximum details with glitches on the shadow. The CPU is reaching like 80% load nearly 90 watts consumption so you need to understand that uh, the system RAM is 12 gig and you can do you can do this performance if you have 8 gig of system RAM you need 16 gig here in order to get this performance in PUBG in this occasion with this video card with 4 gig of VRAM it takes 3 gig of uh, from this video card to deliver this performance another game that I'm very surprised it's working uh, with Crossfire that actually seeing that logo there is uh, ring of elysium no more shadows yeah <laughs> only thing maybe high view distance we can put view distance you know texture quality let's put it too high terrain quality no so low details with uh, a couple of things on uh, maximum view distance and texture yeah it's working really fantastic it's giving me over 60 fps on average you can actually see it's uh, quite uh, uh, okay with uh, with the delivery there's no no glitches it's maintaining uh, really nice the ms the cpu it's uh, on spot with this with under 50 percent load on the cpu and i think that's uh, really great on the system ram you get like 10 gig of system ram being utilized here and uh, it's not bad you know it's uh, it just shows that uh, the system is doing the job and you can count on the cpu if you're interested on 
doing something with uh, with this computer. The GPU is doing a fantastic job. 70-80% load on the on the course. It's uh, utilizing 2 gig of VRAM. So there is no problem in the game with this video card. And I'm actually surprised it's working really nice comparing it to PUBG. Another game that is running with Crossfire is Black Ops 3. Let's take a look on the graphics and what we have here. Around medium details, I think it is. I think this is the way uh, the game managed to put it on. So I actually like the performance here. Look at this, 100 FPS on average. This is actually good. I want to see what, uh, what the system is doing here with uh, this uh, game. With 50% load on the CPU, it's uh, getting like 60 degrees nearly with uh, 60 watts consumption on the CPU side with 14 gig of system RAM. 14 gig of system RAM, I repeat it. It's freaking awesome to see this game uh, eating the resource from the system like this. On the GPU side, I get the intermittent uh, load on the cores because uh, you can actually see one is 90, the second is 90, then the first is 90. But this is only shown with, uh, uh, with the temperature that is 65 and 62. Before it was 100% and it was reaching 70 degrees in here. The GPU is doing a fantastic job. You can actually see the MS is under 10, very snappy. This is what you need for a video card like this, Black Ops 3. Let's jump into Battlefield 4 and take a look how the game is running with um, DirectX 11, Ultra, everything is on maximum, and weapon with uh, motion blur 50, no, no motion blur, <laughs> fun. <laughs> can I be on the roof? Yes, I'm on the roof. <gasps> Over 150 FPS average, great uh, MS under 10 7.10 uh, ms that's actually good 2.5 gig of vram we only utilize the core it's uh, loaded you know it's 70 degrees but uh, look at it it's nearly 100 percent load that's the only reason why the gpu is getting hot because of the load Do i jump from the building i don't remember frame my palms are sweaty only looking here there's no glitches in the game there's no problem with this uh, apparently the video card is utilized on my 100 it looks fantastic seriously battlefield 4 is very scary this the whole map and everything it's only utilizing 2.4 gig of vram it's uh, doing a fantastic job overall when it comes to the map nearly ma maximum details you know and uh, i think this is the only way you need to play uh, with this video card with a game like this and uh, i really appreciate this game offering me this opportunity to, to use uh, the video card on maximum potential let's see how crisis is working with this uh, beautiful video card let's jump into the settings and see what we got ultra this is the maximum advanced graphics medium motion blur uh, can you put low can you put disable please no motion blur. How is it running? On the CPU side, apparently we're getting like 30, 40% load on the CPU, 55, 56 degrees on the CPU. That's good. Less than 50 watts consumption and around 8 gig of uh, system RAM. So the CPU side is good. The MS is 15 average. I'm not going to say nothing about that. 60 FPS uh, is good with this uh, computer. I think this is a with, with VSync or something, but you can unlock it and uh, put uh, higher uh, FPS. I think you can unlock it. This is it, seriously. It's not overheating, it's delivering the performance on maximum details. Everything is honky donkey with this and that's it. Look at this. It's uh, refreshing to see this type of, I mean, it's designed for this. But how about Witchers? What do you think? Witchers can work in Crossfire apparently. Water quality, texture quality, it's all on maximum. Aside from some stuff here that is uh, creating some bugs. I use the presets, I enable everything and I still keep turning off until uh, it started uh, working normally without any glitching. So I managed to reach this. For sharpening, maybe it's anti-aliasing. Oh, anti-aliasing was uh, glitching. I can put the rest on without anti-aliasing. Yes, apparently it's glitching with anti-aliasing. Nice performance. Everything is great. It's utilizing the cores. This GPU is actually working with 3.2 gig of VRAM utilized. It looks fantastic. It's working really nice. 50% load on the CPU. 68, 70 degrees on the CPU, man with the 3X IO. <laughs> this i7 is being utilized or that IO is crap, I don't know. <laughs> Nearly 100 watts consumption on the CPU. Still no glitches, still no nothing. I mean, I like it. Let's see if we put V-Sync, no V-Sync actually display, maximum FPS 60. So we put 60 FPS limit on, uh, on this uh, 
game and we are getting less uh, demand on the core it looks the same there's no problem because this is a story mode and uh, we want to make the gpu a little cooler you know so it's still the same so 60 fps is on average with this uh, uh, video card and the temperature it's uh this is the normal temperature i'm not gonna lie it looks fantastic it runs fantastic it's running really well the averages is good the ms is good the cpu it's on point with it with 11 point 11 gig of system ram and that's it it's like uh, witcher is design almost designed for a video card like this you know crossfire it's possible with uh, this uh, video card do i want to recommend a video card like this um yes and no at the same time no i don't want to recommend it because it's a power hungry video card um no i don't want to recommend because there's only a an, a handful of games that works on crossfire and you're limited on the drivers i don't want to recommend this video card because the performance that you get from this video card it's not on the same page with the money you you put on this video card because you will not find it soon and uh, it will be very rare so if you have it or if you can get one cheap get it for um, uh, the rarity and uh, how awesome the video card is in 2014 not 2023 or in in the future you know just for the collection it's a good video card and time to time keep it use it use that uh, io because it will get uh, very stiff if you have an r9 295 you have bragging rights this is a freaking awesome video card if you are interested on heating up the room with a computer while you game this is the perfect video card <laughs> seriously gaming and heating up your room it's ideal with this video card three it's i actually said it because it's a very rare video card in the future and you will have it as a trophy because it will become very expensive only if you can find it cheap that's it i don't know what you're saying but for me to have a video card like this is freaking awesome that's it i i'm very happy to have it i'm very happy that i can play with it and that's it i like i like uh, finding ways to um, how should i say validate it that's it that's the word I'm very happy to validate a video card like this. Now, if you manage to find this benchmark useful, make sure you smash that like button. If you have any suggestion on the Crossfire idea, please leave a comment. And if you are new, make sure you subscribe and I will see you very soon.